Hey there friends and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming, I'm Brianna. Today I'm going to be talking with you about a little game called Man of Madon. I was invited to a preview event a little while back and I want to show you guys all about it because they created an immersive experience around the game, so I definitely want to show you guys some of the footage from that. But first let me tell you a little bit about the game. I'm sure you've already heard of it because it just came out. It's by the same developers as a game you may have heard of called Until Dawn, which I've played on this channel. Roll the clip. You can only go forward. It's a metaphor. <laughs> nope. Just gonna nope the fuck out on that. Nope. <laughs> Waterproof? <gasps> Yeah, I don't like scary games, but what I do love is a good narrative, a good story, and I love making choices. And I love when a game is changed based on the choices that you're making. And Until Dawn had that enough to where I was willing to play a scary game, Man of Dawn looks like it's going to keep all of that good stuff. You guys know I love a good story-based game. It's kind of what I do. Man of Dawn, however, is amplifying that because it's multiplayer. It's got two multiplayer modes. One is a via network connection, two player mode, and one is a movie night mode for I think up to like six players, which really, really changes the dynamic of the game. Let me tell you how. At one point, I was playing with my friend Amber. Um, Amber, we know, is amazing, so if you don't follow her, you should. That's just a given. So I'm playing the game and I'm given a choice. Do you want this item or this item? So you get to choose an item. What they don't tell you is that that item will be necessary for your friend's scene later on. What I'm most intrigued about is the multiplayer mode. So I'm gonna be playing that first as my very first playthrough and I'm gonna be playing it with my good friend, Alice. Tuesday, September 17th at 10 a.m. Pacific on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash thestrangerebel. It's going to be really interesting because she's already played the game, I have not. So we're gonna see how it goes. That's all the good stuff about the game, now let's get to the event. The day started with us being bused to a port where we got to see the ship, the USS Hornet. They've actually turned it into a museum and now they hold events there. If you've never seen a ship like this in real life, let me tell you, it's huge. It's like a skyscraper, but horizontal instead of vertical. Yep, that makes sense and it just makes you feel very small. Immediately the mood is set of like, wow, this is a little bit creepy. You walk in, it's cold, it's very metal, there's not a lot of coziness to it, the ceilings are super low. It was so fun, genuinely, because it's a whole experience. We do the tour, we get to play the game, we get to experience two player mode, and then we switch over to movie night, and then they tell us that they've prepared a ghost tour. A ghost seeking tour? I'm not really sure what it was, but we get these guides who come up to us and they tell us that this ship is haunted with many spirits, and they're not necessarily hostile, but we hope that they'll show themselves. So we're all shuffled down and we start walk by the way, this ship is like a maze. Okay, there's so many different doors and so many different levels. You really don't ever really know where you are. It's very disorienting, but super, super part of the experience. I I'm a skeptic about this ghost tour, okay? So of course, these are the things that I notice. So they would unscrew the cap of the flashlight so that the circuit would only barely be completed so that any sort of movement in the flashlight would flicker. And they post that in two different places. And then they have this, radio wave sensor that would put out these random sound effects and then this guy pulls out an app on his iPhone and says this is how we'll communicate with the ghosts. 
you can tell how well I believed that. But it was kind of fun, you know? They turned the lights out and we all spoke in whispers and we asked questions like, is there someone here? Ooh, and people got chills. A little hokey for me, but it was still fun. That's pretty much it for my San Francisco trip. I had a really, really great time, so again, Huge shout out to Bandai Namco for inviting me. This was super fun and I really enjoyed it and I can't wait to play the game. Please don't forget to tune into the Twitch stream and I cannot wait to see you guys there. It's going to be a wonderful, wonderful time. I hope you enjoyed my little vlog and that's gonna be all for today's video. So don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, share with all your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want Strange Rebel Gaming so you don't miss the next video. Okay, that's it. Ah, I love you guys. Bye! Yeah. <laughs>